profit and equity. Let's take a look at how profit and equity speak to each other. The effect of profit on equity. We know that your income, less your expenses, is going to give us our profit. So how does that relate to equity? Let's take a few steps back and go back to study unit one and two and think about what we learned in terms of what equity was. Equity is the owner's share of the business. Equity is what you have left in the business. So remember when we spoke about um, assets and we spoke about the basic accounting equation, we said that if you take a look at what the owner actually has, your, your, your position, your wealth, we need to take a look at what you own minus what you owe. Right, so we own 250 and we owe 200, which means that what's really yours is 50. Okay, so in terms of our basic accounting equation, we said let's take a look at what you own, your assets, minus what you owe, which is your liabilities, and that will give you your equity. And we also said that's kind of like saying your net asset value in the business. What's left when we take everything you own minus everything you owe, that's what you have left. Now, if this is your portion of the business, okay, if you have a net increase in assets, if your profit has created an increase in your assets, and you again take a look at your income definition and your expense definition. So if you have income that exceeds expenses, it means that you have a net increase in your assets. So basically it means that throughout the year, you were then able to say, well, I've taken my assets, I've taken what I own and I've increased that to 270 Rand and there is no other increase in my liabilities because remember they said it was something that would result in an increase in equity which means that my equity is now worth 70. My net asset value is worth 70. The equations you're going to have to get comfortable with, and again, we'll go through an example, but just think about this practically. I go to the bank, I ask them for a loan, which means that I owe them money. Okay, I put money into the business myself, and then I say I'm going to go and buy assets, and I'm going to do this. And every month I buy items, I make them look nice, I go and sell them, and I make a profit, and I make a profit. The whole point of this is to make a profit. Everybody's in to make a profit, right? And if I do want to make a profit, what does that mean? It means that I want to increase my net wealth. I want to increase what I have. So I'm taking everything I've got and I'm adding value to it all the time and I'm adding and I'm adding. And hopefully what I'm saying is once I've paid the bank off and once I've paid everybody else what they owe, I have more left over than I started with, which is your profit. So it's going to belong, your profit is going to belong to the owners. Then it becomes equity, which means your equity is the capital that you invested in the beginning, as well as any profit that you make along the way. Practically, you're going to have to be able to do calculations, and this is the way that it's going to come up. So let's take a look at your example. ABC's financial position at the beginning of the year. So at the beginning of the year, they started with 100,000 rands worth of assets equity of 60 and liabilities of 40. If we look at our basic accounting equation, that means assets equals equity plus liabilities. And that means we've got 100,000 rands worth of assets. We've got 60,000 rands worth of equity and we've got 40,000 rands worth of liabilities. So that is their financial position at the beginning of the year. 100 equals 60 plus 40. We are happy because our assets equals our equity plus liability, so that's fine. The income and expenses for the year, they made revenue of 20,000 Rand, they paid wages of 8,000 Rand, and they had general expenses of 2,000. So when we calculate this, let's calculate our profit. Our profit is equal to our income minus our expenses. Whenever you write in calculations out in your exams and your tests, always do the calculations one step at a time. Especially for my male students, we like to put all the calculations together and we say, well, I'm just going to do it in one calculation and do the answer quickly, which is fine and that's great, except that if you get one little thing wrong, you're going to get the whole answer wrong. So it always makes sense in accounting to take it one step at a time and do each calculation, show the examiner and show us that you're doing each calculation step by step. And then if you make one little mistake, we can see where it was and you're not going to lose marks for everything. So my profit then, I don't know what my profit is, I'm trying to calculate it, is going to be equal to my income, which is 20,000 Rand, 
minus my expenses. Now I have two expenses here, so let's add them together. I've got 8,000 Rand and 2,000 Rand, which means my profit is equal to 20,000 minus 8 plus 2 equals 10,000. My income and my expenses, and it means my profit is 10,000. Okay. Based on our formula, based on what we looked at, my profit must get added to my capital, and that gives me my new equity. So my equity at the beginning of the year was 60,000. But I said that your income minus your expenses, your income, go back and look at the definition, your expenses, go back and look at the definition, our profit then needs to be added to our equity. So we need to make sure that we're comfortable with the fact that your equity now, oops, is going to be equal to your capital at the beginning, which was 60,000 plus your new profit, which was 10,000. And you'll find that throughout the course of the year, what else they'll do is they'll give you an indication of additional machinery that was bought, your, your, your inventory has gone up, your debtors have gone up, which will change these other balances as well. My main interest at the moment is the fact that you understand how to calculate your equity, the fact that your profit here filters through to your equity, because you'll find that once your equity here has changed, you'll realize either your liabilities have gone down or your assets have gone up. When you're looking at your calculations, be very careful that you do them, as I say, step by step. Make sure you take a look at the information. This is kind of the way they'll give you some basic information. My main concern is that you understand the relationship between profit and equity.